Hello friends, welcome to Tech Tool. This question was asked in Gate 2007. The question is, we have a robot and a Cartesian plane. So the question says, if a robot is says somewhere here, let's take this coordinate as i comma j. Let's take this as your origin zero comma zero. Then the robot will move either to i comma j plus 1 or the robot will move to i plus 1 comma j that means the robot will move either to the up or to the right okay so we have to follow this movement of robot and we have to travel from 0 comma 0 to 10 comma 10. This was your first part of the question. The question is saying we have to find out the distinct paths to reach a point 10 comma 10 from the origin 0 comma 0. Uh, the 10 comma 10 will be somewhere here say we have a point 10 comma 10 and we have to reach this point from the origin taking this movement in consideration. Okay, we have two choices at every node either we can go to up direction or we can go to the right direction okay so i will take a smaller example so let's solve this question to reach from 0 comma 0 to a point 2 comma 2 so i'm solving this question from 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 2 we are at here this is this point saying that we are here now at this point we can take either this move or this move okay so we can go either up or right okay so we have two choices here either you can go up or you can go right fine okay so if you go up means you are somewhere here again in order to reach this point you can either go up or go in the right direction okay so here also we have two choices either we can go up or we can go in the right direction so if we will go in the up direction then in order to reach this point we have to make two r moves okay we cannot go up because if we will go up then the movement structure is not allowing us to come back okay because you have to move either up or in the right direction so here you have to you have only one choice to move in the right direction so you have to take one right you will reach here then you will take one more right and you will be at 2 comma 2 or if you have taken one up okay then you have taken a right means you are here okay here you can take two choices either you can go in the up direction or you can go in the right direction both are fine so let's take two choices here okay so it is saying that you you are at origin this point then you have taken an, an up means you have taken an up then you have taken a right you have taken a right here you have two choices for up and right if you have taken up then you have to take right to reach 2 comma 2 you have to take right to take 2 comma 2 or if you have taken right here this one then you have to take up for 2 comma 2 so here you have to take one up move so initially you are at, you were at origin and you you have taken a up move and you have explored all the possibilities okay suppose if you have taken a right move here then you will be somewhere here here you can take either up move or right move both are possible so here you can take either up move or a right move both are possible okay so you will be either here or here okay so one thing if you are here then you have no choice to go right more okay because you cannot take a left move in future you have to take either up move or right move so if you have taken one right that is this then one another right that is this then you have only choice that you have to take two up moves okay so here you have to take two up moves or if you have taken one right then you have taken one up here means you are here 
then here you you have two choices either you can take a up move or you can take a right move so i'm taking both the choices if you have taken up then you have only one choice to take a right and if you have taken right means you are here then you have only one choice to take a up so we have explored all the possible paths from the origin so how many distinct paths we are getting let's count we are getting this one path then we are getting this second path then we are getting this third path and we are getting this fourth path and this is your fifth path and this will be your sixth that means we are getting six different paths to reach 2 comma 2 also notice one thing in every path you have to take two up moves and two right moves you can see here we have taken two up moves and two right moves you can take any of the six path and you will see that you have taken two u moves and two r moves in order to reach from 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 2 so you have to take all the permutation of this sequence in order to find all the distinct paths from 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 2 you will take total number of items of 4 4 factorial 2 are of same type and 2 are of same type so you will get 6 okay and it is also equal to your 4 c2 okay you will get all the distinct paths now our question was to find all the paths from 0 comma 0 to 10 comma 10 so what we have to do we have to take 10 u moves and then 10 right so in every distinct path you will have to take 10 up move and 10 right moves total we have 20 items here and 10 are of same type and 10 are of same type so in the part p again we have to find all the distinct paths from 0 comma 0 to 10 comma 10 but with one constraint and the constraint is we are not allowed to use the segment 4 comma 4 to 5 comma 4 that means we will not take this segment in the path we will not include this segment in any of the path so in the first part we have calculated all the distinct paths from 0 comma 0 to 10 comma 10 when this was allowed okay when there was no such constraint we have to find all the possible distinct paths from 0 comma 0 to 10 comma 10 but here this is not allowed so initially if when this was allowed then we have got the total number of distinct paths as 20 c 10 now we will subtract all the paths that will contain this as a segment okay so first of all we have to find all the paths from 0 comma 0 to 4 comma 4 we will find all the paths from 0 comma 0 to 4 comma 4 so all paths from 0 comma 0 to 4 comma 4 will be you know 4 u moves and then 4 r moves so total 8 moves will be there divided by 4 are of same type 4 will be of same type okay that means 8 c 4 okay then let's try to find out all the paths from 5 comma 4 to 10 comma 10 now we will find all the paths from 5 comma 4 to 10 comma 10 so how many u moves from 5 to 10 you have to take 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 up move and 6 up move and 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 5 are moves that means we have total 11 elements out of which 6 are of same type and 5 are of same type it is equal to your 11 c 5 fine so and from 4 comma 4 to 5 comma 4 we have only one 
paths so now we will write all the paths containing 4 comma 4 to 5 comma 4 as a segment so you know the paths from 0 comma 0 to 4 comma 4 or 8 c 4 okay then from 4 comma 4 you can reach to 5 comma 4 in one path then from 5 comma 4 to 10 comma 10 you will get 11 c 5 distinct paths so these will be total number of paths that will contain this segment now the question is we have we cannot include this segment then we will subtract this from the total distinct paths so we were having 20 c 10 as total distinct paths and we will subtract the path that will contain this as a segment so 8 c 4 into 11 c 5 this will be your final answer hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching